Hello again, a new day, a new project. In fact, I want to modify this uh, LoRa antenna. It's supposed to be 8 dB and it's tuned for 950 megahertz. And um, I want to modify this to be able to work with 868. It's a really interesting antenna, really nice done. It's copper resonator here and uh, you see it's air the electric and it's a very nice antenna but I can't use it you know so instead of I don't know uh, throw it away or sell it or whatever I just want to try to modify this so what I found out now all these reflectors you know all these parts all these tubes here are around seven nine millimeters so a proper length for 868 megahertz it will be around 86 millimeters so i have to make this bigger with around uh, 86 minus 79 that's six seven around seven millimeters longer you see so all these tubes should be around seven millimeters longer and the point is it's not only the tubes I have to modify this one too because let's say this part here from here to here inside there it's a tube you know the smaller or the thin one so this one now it have 22.6 millimeters centimeters I'm sorry so is this one 23.1 centimeters 231 millimeters so this one should be 25.13 because I'm I'm just putting up the scale. This one down here also, this should be 21.43. I observed the microtic antenna have almost the same structure. So we have the long road here, the long one, but uh, this antenna it's in the middle. I mean it's up somehow, is this one. This is the long one. And in between the other elements this one have six sectors this one only have uh, four okay so it's somehow uh, done the other way you know uh, upside down and i'm gonna start cutting these tubes here okay and this is done already and to start modifying these first dimensions this was pressed and it's kind of hard to take the wire out this is the central wire here going to the uh, last segment up here and solder it to the tube okay i know it's a lot of work i'm i don't know if i'm succeed i'm gonna have this kind of tubes you know to supply the extra length and what's nice i can do a kind of uh, you know telescopic effect let's call it then I can uh, easily tune the antenna to the new frequencies okay so let's do the job okay now I have to find something to make this tubes longer so I need like eight millimeters for uh, for each one it's like this okay Maybe something like this. Okay, how much do we have here? 1.5 centimeters. Oh yes. That should fit. Okay. Oh yeah, plenty. So I just cut this from here. Okay. You see this little this little iron you know the, the soldering ts100 it's amazing nice well i think this is good enough let me do the the other one okay to cut a millimeter or so getting hot very quickly so that have to be done oh no okay i'll try some other technique 
Yeah, getting closer. Okay, I need to clean this a little bit better. Okay. Well, I think I'm done. Good result, but... 134, so it's looking like the antenna is way down. Uh, okay, let me measure the middle again. 23.1. All of these are longer than it should. What can we do? 85.1. Okay. One more. 84.6. Okay, let me have a little bit more here. Okay. Next. 85.1. 85.6. Okay, so the antenna is back in uh, place. Uh, epoxied and, you know, with the fiberglass on top and everything. My nano VNA is connected to the computer, you can see. But before anything else, we have to do a calibration. To have a proper calibration to nano VNA, first of all, we have to choose the right frequencies. Let's say 550 mega to 1050 mega. Let me call them calibration assistant. That will help me better. Let's connect the short, of course I will. We have to open. Perfect. Load, of course. Next. Next. And now I should put the cables together. And we are good to... Name. Antenna. Laura test. And save like Laura okay this is for further tests in fact what we need up here on the first screen we need to display VSWR that's the one we need let's go let's say here we are with 867 and the gain SVR it's 1.239 okay it's not perfect but anyway, it's much better than before. We had the dip in this area. Now it went down to 861. Much better. And here we have 1.078. So I may say it will be a really good result. All the activity of the LoRa, it's between 871 and 868.5 or something so in this area it will behave beautiful the last test is to have the radio connected so i got the radio hooked up and uh, let's turn it on the antenna should go evidently to the radio input here okay we need a we need a, an adapter and let me reproduce exactly the same uh, condition like the last test so we have again a 12.5 db like in the last test and i remember i reached with this antenna around 69 70 db evidently the nano vna it's at 20 meters at least in the other room and now it's moment of true. Did we have a better reception? 68. Let's go in the exactly the same position like before. Look there. 63, 62, 62. Look there, 62.6 or something. Anyway, this is great. So I consider this uh, experiment okay, like uh, results, of course. And uh, I will go on with having this antenna on the roof and see how it behaves in real life. Thank you for now. I hope it's useful. Please like, subscribe. And of course, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.